Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will discuss how do you handle the failures in your Logic App integrations workflows. There are some scenarios when you define your workflow and workflow gets fails or one of the connector or the steps within the workflow fails due to some reason. Due to some reason. Now, what do we do on such scenarios if it fails? How do you handle the negative uh, use case or negative scenarios or the failure scenarios in the logic app? That's what we are going to look at now in this particular demonstration. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching Be All Owner. So for the demonstration, I have the logic app, which is of type standard and the name of the logic app I have given as the standard lab. And this is backed up by the app service plan. So this is the app service plan, which is being supported to for this particular logic app and this storage account is being used to store all the logs and the uh, relative information related to this particular logic app now if i open this logic app i have certain number of workflows defined in this particular logic app which we have used in our previous demonstration for this particular demonstration i am going to use this handle failure workflow which is of type stateful workflow if i click here on the handle failure workflow if i go to the designer just to show you what kind of implementation it has so this is the simplest workflow which is of type http uh, time trigger workflow as you can see that this particular recurrence trigger is getting going to be executed on every 15 second and this is going to make a call to a uh, url the step name I have given as the calling cat as it is going to call to this particular URL HTTP is colon forward slash meow meow dot com which is going to be a some random website just to show you a failure and here I'm going to pass the HTTP request body which is of type let's say cat 007 my intention here is to explicitly fail this particular step so that uh, we know how do we want to do uh, we would like to first of all get to a scenario wherein we are failing the uh, failing the workflow and then we'll I'll show you what you should do basically uh, or how should you handle these failures in your workflow so if I go to the overview I can see that all my workflows are executing on every 15 seconds of duration which is the duration which has been set up on the recurrence trigger but what all my workflows are getting succeed, succeeded successfully why it is so because i passed some fake website which is meowmeow.com and still it is working let me have a look at why it is working successfully fine okay so here we are trying to make a call to this particular url and with this body i'm getting a 200 response which is quite a surprise here uh, let me see that yeah fortunately this website exists and that's why it's working fine so let's go ahead and make this website as failed so i'll call it as agent let's see i'm just adding some some random na name here so that i can make this website fail so let me go to the designer make sure that we update this particular failed url So URL I'm going to pass here. That's it. Save. And let's see if it works this time. I can wait for 15 seconds or I can click on trigger to trigger the logic app. It's going to trigger this. Let's wait for this. So as you can see that this website is not available. It says an unresolvable host name. Uh, so obviously we know that it's not, uh, no such host is available. So it's going to fail, uh, but still it is trying and it will be uh, on timeout uh, after a certain number of uh, threshold limit. So now we know that this is going to be fail, right? So what do we do about that? So let's say if you are making such, uh, if you have such logic implementation, let's 
let me just change this to 15 minutes so that it doesn't execute on every 15 second let's say if you have some scenarios wherein it's executing this particular uh, call which uh, due to some reason it is failing so how do you want to do that uh, or handle that scenario so it might possible that if it succeeds then you want to do uh, some actions for example you want to compose some message uh, from the response body for example whatever if you and now if it doesn't succeed let's say then you may want to do something else let's say you may want to call to uh, some, some other website let's say uh, i want to call it as a yahoo.com so i'll say get and then i'll say https uh, slash gmail.com for example okay this is what i want to call uh, but this is on the failure of this and this is on the success of this so how do you uh, make sure that this runs only on this failure this runs on the success to do that if i click on the compose step and if i go to the settings run after so in the run after you have certain number of option it says by default this will run on every successful of your parent of the parent which is of this uh, which is calling cat and this has some more options for example do i want this to be executed if the calling cat is timeout or calling cat is skipped or if it is failed if yes then i can choose either of these options this is a selectable option so i can choose all these options right and this color coding uh, if you look at this color coding this shows uh, on which particular option this is going to be triggered so if i mouse over this this will show me and uh, this will give me an information when this particular block is going to be executed on which particular condition so that is going to be defined from the run after so let's leave this particular compose option as is because this is a success scenario but let's come back to our gmail website and i'll go to the run after and here i'll say instead of success i'll say if it is timeout or if it is fail then i would like to open my gmail uh, url this is what i want to do let's save it let's look at and run it if it is working fine i'll simply rerun again so now if you look at this option uh, the first request is failed after 1 minute 33 second no such host uh, as we know it is expected to fail but on failure of this we are making call to this again it has failed uh, due to some reason because maybe this gmail.com was not available but just you get an idea right how do you want to handle the scenarios uh, of uh, the failures because now we have got one failure so we have opened or we have added a parallel actions and that parallel action will only be executed if your parent action is failed or succeeded so that's how you can handle the failure scenarios in your workflow and you can make your workflow uh, quite a bit complicated or to or to handle all the permutation combinations uh, within your integration scenarios i hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video